use that Delius too for a little while. We're gonna break out the old legend and the 16th call in this park. And I've got this gentleman here with me who has a simplex with a smaller call on it. We may do a few target comparisons. We may look at Beach Wet versus Park Multi One on this outfit right here. This site's fairly polluted with modern trash. This old legend got the Deus too, and then my old buddy's running a simplex, and he's got on something here. We're gonna see what he's got here, boys. Uh huh? Look at here, boys. <laughs> Look at that. You see that in that camera there? I don't know what this. Some kind of token thing. It's got some riding on it. It's a big old honker, boys. <laughs> Keep it flying, G. What the heck? It's got a one eight hundred. 1-800-something, my... Y'all see that? There used to be a bush right in here, my buddy's saying, and you never could get on here to detect this, and they took the bush out. We'll wash that up there and see what that is. Let's see. Check this target in Beach Wet and Multi Park 1. It was in agreement now, boys. It was a piece of fall. I've let the wind blow it out of my hand here. Went somewhere over here. But this call was pretty hard to get on this cone right here. Not too deep, but that ball was uh, playing with that right there. And that's a copper right there. It's not a weed head. That right there has been swung over before, I'll tell you right now. In agreement with Beach Wet Multi Park 1. I suspect a quarter. All right, we'll get this camera off here. Quarter there, it's been in the ground a while there. Pretty red. Here that's in agreement with Beach Wet and Multi Park One. I suspect this is a clad dime, but it could be a silver dime. You never know. Damn there. Look, pretty red. Been in the ground a little while anyway. Here with the simplex is located at the target. I'm looking at it with this simplex with a six inch or a legend with a six inch call. That's multi wet. Park multi one. I get that lower reading, but I also see some. Uh, segments coming over there on the horseshoe side. There's a clean tone right there. 28, 27. And I'm going to go back to multi wet. See that right there? We're going to dig this right here and see what this is. You're on it there. We turn this camera off and let us get this out of the ground here. We might find the masker if there's one in there. I can't promise. Yes, it seems to be ferrous, but it's round, okay? You see it there. It's not a can lid. Some kind of something, but it's it's perfectly round with a thing in there. You see that there? And on top of the ground, I get the same idea as I got when it was in the ground with Park Multi-1 and multi wet, okay? Deep too. Here, beach wet. Maybe you see that meter. 42.44. I'm gonna trend toggle over here to beach multi one. See that meter? Trying to trend 35. There's a lot of fall right up in this area, boys what that was boy some kind of little filter thing or got a little screen in it no well, okay got it on top of the ground and it reads the same both programs beach melty one and beach wet it, he located this target with a sim place he wasn't gonna dig it he thought it was a zinc penny he might be right here's multi beach wet on the legend And then 42, and here's Park Multi One. 
we're going to see what this is right here. Boys, maybe you can see that in that camera there. I hit it with a shovel. Something like that, the signal sort of can get wonky on it and shift you over, you know. It won't be like a coin a lot of times because of the shape of that thing. That's an old lid off of something. You're reading 25 in Multi Beach Wedding, 25 in Park Multi One. Boy, look at that. That's a, I reckon that's a nickel. That's a, that's a old nickel. It ain't no more nickel, but now uh, you've seen how them were in agreement there. It worked out pretty good there, reading a little low in both. Out here. And it also agrees with Beach Wet. That was Melty Part 1. I'm going to bet Clad Dime on this right here. Clad Dime. Let me see that neck camera there. In the window here. Both of the modes agree on this detector, okay? It ought to be a clad quarter, maybe. We'll see. Clad quarter. It's been in the ground a while here. She's getting a little crusty. Let me see that neck camera. Here my buddy's located, and I've come over with this legend. He located it with a simplex. That's deep. Or, um, Multi Beach One. Beach Wet, I'm sorry. But I'm getting some signal over here, segments over here at this horseshoe. Reading 43 in Multi Beach One. Reads 23 with equal signal on the horseshoe and the ring side down here. Got a strong pinpoint. We're gonna dig this here and see what this is. Steel bottle cap, Bowen's rusty here. You see that there? Okay. Maybe you see that in that camera. Steel bottle cap. Here, you know, people looking at this legend, you know, they might want to know what they could expect with it. Melty wet beach. 43-44 with one segment on the horseshoe side lighting up. Melty Park One. One, sometimes two segments lighting up with lower ID. That's an awfully strong pinpoint. We'll see what this is here. Hi, <laughs> right, boys. Kappa Y. You can see that in that camera there. So that beach wet didn't lie to me. That multi park one lied to me, but check this out right here. I'm not going to tear this park all the pieces I'm in. But look what's below it here. I suspect that's a big piece of iron down there, okay? So that under target mask in there played into that signal on that cup of wire. Token, I wash it off with some Mountain Dew. That works pretty good. Sons of Confederate Veterans. 1-800-MY-SOUTH. Join now is what it says on it. And the other side says keep it flying. SCV with a Confederate flag looks like on it. Or, or uh, looks like it's the big old thing, uh, boys. That's the find of the day so far. With the simplex. But, you know, I'm supposed to be biased. Why am I showing what's being found with a simplex for? Lord have mercy. Conductor here in Beach, Melty Beach Wet. Low conductor flashing 26 mainly, mostly. And we go over to Melty Park 1. We get a 27. I would say that is not a nickel, but we're going to dig it to see. If that was reading 26, I'm going to say that's a square tab or something. We're going to dig her. Square tab. What I've been seeing on this machine the last few days, boys, is these will read 26 a lot of times in Multi Beach 1. And when you go to 
or beats wet. And when you go to multi pack one, they'll usually read 28, but that one read 27. Orientation unknown. 47, 48, 46, action. Here in 48. multi beach wet and pack multi one. Agree on this target here. Clad dumb out of that hole. Multi beach wet and multi pack one. Agree on this signal. It's actually trending a little higher than 50. I suspect the clad corner. I'm behind the church pavilion here. The old clad corner. I believe this corner here might have been on edge, boys. 22 reading signal here in both a beach wet and park multi one agree. I'm going to dig this signal here. I'm pretty close to the where they have these picnic tables. You know, I might get lucky with a gold ring. Boys got the old aluminum and girls. Okay, with beach wet, week 26 signal, boys. Week. Well, we're to park multi one. Much stronger signal. Much stronger. We're going to dig this just because of the difference in the signal strength. Monster difference. Of course, the ID's a little higher. It would be trending square pull tab in my opinion, but you know, this might be an old gold ring. No square tab, not very deep either. Orientation unknown, okay? That's 52 in the old multi part one. That's 52 in multi beach weight. Well, I'm figuring an old clad core. I looked out here. There's actually three of these quarters in here, at least three. It looks like three. Here's two right here. They were laying sandwich just like that right there. If them quarters would have been on edge, we might have got to see what I showed in that video the other day comparing multi park one and beach wet. But they were laying like that, so they were flat, okay? And there was another one still down here in the hole, but that was in the plug there. Now the ground here, heart shaped, that red 48, beach wet, multi beach wet and red, a little lower, not much, about 45 in the multi part one. I don't think there's anything else down in there with this, but there may be. I guess I better dig some more here and see what I got. There's come out of that hole, boys. You see that? There's something else in there, though. Let me get this camera off and keep it digging here. Well, heart looking thing in here. You see it there? That little old fall like stuff there, and this nail right here come out of the hole, okay? Well, there you go. Well, here in the nickel range. Trying to trend 25 multi beach wet in multi park one. They're in agreement. We're gonna dig this here. This might be an old nickel, reckon. We'll see here. Well, then we have a nickel. You know, there's some good information in this video here for these new legend owners. You pay attention, I see a trend. Okay. Here reading 49.50 and both multi pack one beach wetter in agreement. We're gonna dig this right here. I suspect a quarter, maybe. Quarter. Pack up and hit the road. Two nickels, two nickels. And I like the behavior of that detector on them. Playing around with that beach wet and multi pack one. A lot of quarters, boys. A lot of quarters. And dimes. Uh, not many pennies, actually. But now I didn't dig every signal. I walked past some zinc penny signals. Copper wire, oh, something here, some kind of little old filter, looks like it goes on a weed eater, maybe. And then that thing there, maybe you can see that. Whatever that is. All right. Roll a little copper wire. It's 
So that's all that most of this was found with the mighty legend with a six inch coal, okay? A few copper pennies. Not many though. Hope you enjoyed.